Yes, decisions, decisions. I'm so excited. <gasps> Update from the carpenter. He's coming tomorrow, yay! <laughs> Look at my mouth, that's hilarious. We now officially have a shell for our cupboard that's going in this corner. Oh! I just cut myself. I need to slow down. Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, the 20th of July, and I'm picking up the camera because we have had some progress in the kitchen and there should be more progress being made today. So first of all, I'll show you what I did with the beams because it has made such a difference and I've got to do the other side, but I have done half. So I'll show you that really quickly. I lime washed them the other day and this is how they turned out. And I'm so over the moon. As you can see, they've just got a really nice cool tone to them now. Whereas as you can see, compared to these, they're a little bit orange still. So it just took a lot of that warmth away, which I don't hate, but I just think it just suits the kitchen better. It matches more to the wood on our table and it matches more to the wood on the stools. That was kind of the vibe I was going for. So I'm very, very happy and I will show you how I did it when I do these ones but it was very simple. You just use lime wax and a cloth and that was it because obviously I've done all the hard work of sanding already. And you may have noticed <laughs> that this cupboard has gone in. Our carpenter was here yesterday and he's put in our cupboard for our freezer. This is just MDF on the inside and then they're gonna have pine doors just to save money because um, wood is really expensive at the minute because of COVID. Um, so this was a compromise so that we could have wood like the rest of the kitchen and paint, you know, the outside be wood, but um, the insides be MDF to save some money because it's all gonna be painted inside and you're not gonna really see it. And we're thinking at the top here, doing something for a wine storage, because I think it will have a, we'll have a door on it, but I think you can do like a cross sort of shape to put wine in. I'm gonna ask him today what he recommends or what he thinks, but I think that would be really, really useful. And then over here we have the cupboard for the fridge. Uh, same thing. Lots of people did ask why we're doing it this way and we did share chat about this a while ago but we're having two separate fridge freezers because we tried an American freezer in this space and it didn't fit. The space between the island and the fridge was too narrow to fit through. Uh, we don't want to move the island, we don't want to change the island, that would be a really expensive big job and we really like the island. Uh, we also don't just want a fridge freezer because we found there wasn't enough space and we wanted the opportunity to have a big fridge and a big freezer as you know it's my job so I love cooking I love having food I love taste testing I love you know being able to have food to hand so I can cook and share recipes and all that kind of stuff so having two big fridge freezers was really important to us um, especially for the future like having kids and having people around like we didn't get this house just with the intention of living just the two of us we want it to be shared with the family we have already and our family in the future and that was a part of it because I want all the decisions I make to be long term. Small issue though we have with this is when we put this in I did not think about this plug. Um, Alex I think was here with the carpenter when he was doing it and I don't want a gap like that. Luckily the electricians are coming today, or at least they said they were. <laughs> we know what it's like sometimes with tradesmen. I want to move this plug to the back of the wall so that this cupboard can be moved over and then it can be plugged in at the back because that is just going to be a dust collector. Yeah, I want it flush to the wall. I know if I don't say anything now, I will regret it. So the electricians are coming today to fit these um, sockets and switches and if they have time, maybe the lights as well. Today, also the guy from... Cornwall Stoves is coming over um, to look at the wood burners. So we're having wood burner changed in here, which we've talked to him about already, but we also need to talk to him about the living room one. Yeah, I think we've already decided on the one for the kitchen. It's like a Charn, I think it's called Charnwood Stoves. I think that's what it's called. And it's because it's a smaller one that will fit in the fireplace because the hearth, there is no hearth, as you can see, there's no hearth and we didn't want it to be too big coming out because then it would be a bit of a trip hazard. So he's found a stove that's quite small so that the hearth won't have to come out too far, which is ideal. Um, but yeah, I'll update you at the end of the day with 
progress and I fingers crossed fingers crossed the electricians have showed up good morning everyone it is Thursday and I think I totally forgot to finish vlogging on Tuesday because um the electricians were here the gardeners were here and then we had Cornwall stoves round to talk to about our stove in our living room and I want to show you the progress that was made we have had a delay again with the cupboards I'll talk about that in a second but I'll show you the lights light switches and light fittings and all that that was put in because i think i showed you the stuff that had arrived the other vlog and I'll, it's all now in in situ so here it is these are the ones from electrical direct they're called knight's bridge and i've just noticed there is a scratch i don't know whether to be mad about that or ignore it i don't know if that's happened because of fitting them or they arrived like that um but yeah i'm very happy with them because they're like an antique brass they're very subtle, they're not in your face, and they were very affordable, so very pleased with those. We've got the matching dimmer switch. Looks almost silvery on camera, but it is gold, I promise. It's like an antique brass. I can't show you because <laughs> the fridge is in the way, but we've got um, the light switch here with those little toggle switches. We've got the recess lights in that I showed you. These are the antique brass again that one needs to be pushed in a bit further it looks like and there it is it looks horrendous still because it's not been painted so ignore that and then we've got our spotlights in place on the beams again it will look so much better when we painted because everything will just look finished whereas now it looks a bit grubby <laughs> it's kind of weird having the finishing touches in before we've painted we got the electricians to do it just because they were around to do other stuff and we were just like just do this now because like I said the carpenter hasn't been here and it's just because we're not renovating our kitchen by I don't know like lots of people will renovate their whole house or they'll renovate their whole downstairs or something that like that so they'll get a contractor in and then they'll um you know have a carpenter a decorator electrician all here in one go to do the job together and get it done and finish it because we're not doing it that way because we're doing a lot of the DIY stuff ourselves. like I wanted to do the beams myself I want to paint myself and we're organizing ourselves. it means organizing individual tradesmen and sometimes that doesn't match up so if we were able to get electricians over i'm going to get them to do any job that they can and um we'll just have to work around it like in a normal world i probably would have fitted those once it had been painted but i ordered them and i was just like you're here so just put them in um same with the plug sockets probably most people do that after they painted but i just it's just something to get done um yeah the carpenter hasn't come he came on monday which i showed you the the cupboards that were put in he didn't come on tuesday i think he said he was waiting for the pine to arrive and he got a heat stroke um so i hope he gets better soon i don't like sitting and waiting so i'm gonna do the beams before my dentist appointment i did obviously the ones on this half and i'm gonna do them here the last progress I think was me bleaching these ones. I did do the lime wax on that side, but I didn't show you how I did it. So I'll show you how I did it. If any of you are looking to do it as well. I bought this from B&Q. It's the Coal Run Refined Liming Wax. I'm sure you can buy it in any hardwood store, hardware store, wherever you live. It's quite a standard thing. And it's really simple. You just clean the beams with some white spirit and a cloth. You use a cloth to rub this on in the direction of the grain. It tells you how to do it on the back and then you rub it off in the opposite direction. And I also used a brush just to get any of the lime wax that had sort of stuck to all the grooves in the wood because this wood is very uneven. Alex's idea that, it was great because there were like chunks of white, so that got all that out. So I'm gonna do that on this side and it's quite a simple job, so it shouldn't take me too long and I'll show you how I do it. Definitely need to get changed though because <laughs> this is a very nice dress and I'm not gonna ruin it. Update from the carpenter. He's coming tomorrow, yay! <laughs> I've just got back and excuse the funny mouth. I've just been to the dentist and I can't feel this side of my face and I'm sporting my new, look at my mouth, that's hilarious. I'm sporting my new dry robe. Uh, my sister has one of these. I've wanted one of these for years. Not for years, maybe for like two, well, kind of. Ever since we moved back to Cornwall, I've wanted one. Um, they're amazing because they're basically like 
a towel and a coat so when you go to the beach and you go for a swim you don't need to bring loads of stuff with you you can just whack that on and also in the winter I can use this if I'm walking Roxy and it's freezing and it's raining like it covers you I got a size large so it like goes all the way down and I got a couple other packages I thought I would show you whilst I'm looking hilarious oh can I what's in that one I have no idea. I use the Tone and Sculpt app for exercise. This is so funny. And when you do 50 workouts on the app, you get a t-shirt. <laughs> so I got a t-shirt, Tone and Sculpt, 50 Star Club. That's so funny. So cute. I'm going to wear this in the gym. It's really soft. <laughs> so it's quite a nice little incentive. It actually kind of motivated me in the gym. Because I'd be like, oh, I've got like 36 stars, only a few left. Something about that, that's actually proven. And you know, I mentioned that book, the Atomic Habits book. He, he was explaining the science behind how having things written down or like, you know, something as simple as, I think he was saying that a sales guy, every single time he made a sale, he moved something from here to here. I think it was, I don't remember what it was, but he like, maybe it was a paperclip. He moved one paperclip from here to here. And that action, like it motivates you so like with an app I find it so motivating to do the workout and then click done and then you get a star it like means I'm like it means I want to complete the workout I got some bits from Tala I already have some workout clothes from Tala um I have loads of workout clothes from Girlfriend Collective that are too small for me and so I just bought some ones that actually fit me and these are my favorite I almost feel like they compete with Girlfriend Collective as being maybe potentially more comfortable because they're so stretchy. And this is the Skin Lux um, Tala leggings and sports bras. So I got the Skin Lux leggings and then the two different styles of sports bras. I think one of them has like just a band in the middle and then one of them has a crisscross. And I've already got this style in black. So I just got another grey set because I... I'm constantly exercising because I go to the gym like five times a week. I'll like rotate, I'll like wear one outfit, one gym kit, and then wear the next the next day. And then I'm like, I don't have a gym kit. Alex is great at doing the washing. He does all of our washing. But sometimes it just hasn't been done. And then I'm like, what do I wear? So I got myself a new set. And then I've been sent very kindly alcohol free spirit from Pentire and these are cornish so thank you so much i really love the idea of this because i don't really drink as much as i used to anymore and i don't ever drink spirits literally ever I only the only alcohol i drink is wine i'm so sorry about my mouth this is hilarious i'm vlogging right now the dentist even asked me he's like oh what do you do and i told him i'm a youtuber and he was like oh no vlogging for you today and i was like thinking i'm gonna vlog i don't care <laughs> Um, but yeah, they do botanical non-alcoholic spirits, which I think are so cool because if I want to have like a gin and tonic, um, in the evening, like today, for example, I think I might have one of these cause it's sunny and you want to have it outside, but I don't really like drinking alcohol in the week. What a wonderful idea. So thank you so much to Pentire. And I really think there's such a market now for alcohol free drinks because so many more people want to like enjoy the social experience of alcohol without actually drinking alcohol. And I've got some fever tree tonic to go with it. I actually think I'm gonna make myself one of those this evening. I'm feeling a bit tired now because of that. I was in the dentist for like two hours and I got to go back for more work on this side. So this side, it was, it was filling a root canal that had broken and it was pretty bad and he had a bit of a hard time doing it. And then this side, I've got another filling to do. And then I think I've got to get a crown on this side and then I can get my Invisalign started. I think it will start in September. Anyway, um, I think we're going to have to think about dinner now. We were going to go to the beach, but I don't know if I should go to the beach if I've just had all this done. I don't know, it's just it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I feel like I should make the most of it. Is it Wednesday today or is it Thursday? It's Thursday. No, I, I think we should go because otherwise we'll miss out. We went, to, we went to the beach the other day and we couldn't go swimming because there was too many jellyfish. Anyway, I'm gonna sort out all these packages. <laughs> look what else was delivered, Al. Yeah. Look, very nicely packaged. Oh, yeah, I thought you'd done. 
seen them, have No, I didn't. I forgot. Oh, they're so teeny. These are our new, well, potentially, we've got to have a look at them first. So we had to order like so many of these because we're getting our new, obviously getting our new cupboards built. And I really like the handles that are already in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, but I couldn't find, all oh, of these are perfect. Nice. Yeah. So I'm gonna try and show you. So these are them. They look basically the same as what we already have maybe slightly less golden these are a little bit more antique brass which probably matches excuse my face again probably does match the other things in the kitchen really well these are from yester home they were basically a middle ground between buying cheap ones which i was worried wouldn't be heavy because these are like a really nice weight wouldn't be heavy and wouldn't look like proper brass and ones that are really expensive there were some absolutely beautiful ones from De devil devol kitchens they are so expensive though but they were so beautiful like if we didn't need if i was doing a smaller kitchen redesign i would get those because they um were so so beautiful because we needed literally like 30 um cupboard knobs because we we're replacing the ones that are existing and um, putting them on our dresser and all the new cupboards and everything so we had to we had to try and make them a reasonable cost because <laughs> everything else is obviously costing lots of money um, you have to be you have to sort of figure it out as you go and yeah like I said we're replacing them and we're going to keep them for another room somewhere maybe when we do the utility room we can use them for that um, or maybe when we do uh, the cupboards in this living room we could use them for that because uh, they're literally the most perfect lovely cupboard knobs uh, kitchen knobs we didn't want to do the cupboards and then the handles not match across the kitchen we wanted all of the, the handles to match oh oh sorry <laughs> gosh this is a lot of packages in one day these are the ones for the fuse they were a bit delayed so the electrician can come back and do these the fuse sockets I think they're coming on friday are they next friday oh cool um so i ordered i think 30 cupboard knobs because we're also going to replace the handles on the dresser i don't know if you remember when we got the dresser it's got like blingy glass kind of almost look like little diamond um handles so i'm going to replace those and I got, so I got the uh, cupboard knobs for all the cupboards and then these are the drawer pulls. They are very nice. I'm actually very impressed with the way these look in real life. I'll leave them below if anyone's doing up their kitchen. So this is the drawer pulls. So these are again, an antique brass. They're not as gold. They're not as gold as the ones we have now, which I kind of do like how gold the ones we have now are, but also these match like these look how well these match the light switch like they look very similar in keeping i wish i could go into a shop and like view all the different options but there were even some really beautiful ones from willow and stone which is a local iron mongery place uh, in falmouth which i've visited before with you on this channel but they again were just a little bit beyond our price range considering the amount of doorknobs we needed these were i think more like eight or ten pounds for each knob rather than 20 or 30 which some websites were kind of sort of find a happy medium just more and more knobs i'm trying to find the ones for the fridge okay i think these are the ones for the fridge these are the ones i was unsure of so only negative about this company is they didn't have any long handles and i wanted longer handles for the fridge so that you can like grab onto it because i'll see a tiny little handle will be a bit heavy the only concern is that are these going to be big enough no they are i think that's fine if i wanted to be able to get my hand in and like open the fridge door no i think that's totally fine yeah very pleased i think i ordered a latch is this the latch i hope this is the latch so the latch, I love the latches. I think they're so cool. Yeah, I think these are so cool for, um, this will be for the cupboard under the sink. Oh, I just cut myself. I need to slow down. So this little latch will be for underneath the sink because the sink, underneath the sink, it always opens, like it doesn't close properly. So I thought this could be 
quite good for that. Now my next concern, is this something that I'm being really over the top about? Do I need matching hinges or will gold do? Because now I'm thinking, do I need like antique brass hinges? I don't know. Fine details that I just, I'm not so sure. But I really like them, I'm very happy. Let me show you what they're like now. I kind of, I have a, a little bit of sadness in me because I kind of almost prefer what they look like currently because these are so much darker. Oh, I'm really not sure now. I'm really not sure. I need to think about this. And then this is the, the door knobs. This, let me show you the lights. These are the door knobs. They really don't look very gold. I kind of like, oh, I'm not sure. It's like, these are literally perfect. I don't want to change them. And I was trying to find ones that matched, that were affordable, that had all the different options. And now I'm just, I'm just second guessing myself. And then this would be for a door here. So the good thing is they de definitely match the light fittings here and here and these ones, but then are they a bit more like that's the kind of color I wanted. These are a bit more dark, you know, like this is the color. And it's a bit, this is just a bit more bronze. I don't know. I just don't know. Like the, these are just more like from a distance, they're gonna look, I mean, they are really nice. Excuse my hands are covered in the lime wax. Decisions, decisions. Happy Friday, everyone. Why is it happy Friday? It's a happy Friday because the carpenter is here. He's just nipped out, so I thought I'd show you what he's been doing. So we get some real time progress. This cupboard's looking pretty good. Got the pine on the outside and the MDF inside just to save on costs. And yeah, that's looking good. And the same over here. I'm gonna have to ask him about this gap. I'm assuming that that gap will be boxed in, but we'll see. But yeah, a little bit of progress starting to happen. I hopefully, We'll have some more progress later um, when he goes. And did you see the beans? I did half the beans. I didn't get to finish them yesterday because we went to the beach in the evening, but I'm going to finish them today. I'm determined, well, not, maybe not today, but this weekend. <laughs> I will finish them. I'm going to my friend's house later today, um, but I will show you the finished result. And then the beans are officially done and dusted, which is just, yeah, will be amazing. So these are the ones that I did yesterday. Lighting isn't great. Um, they look slightly different on this side to the ones on this side. Like these ones are a different color. They've got more of a, a cool undertone to them originally. Um, these ones were more orange underneath rather than yet. These ones are kind of yellowy. You can kind of see that, but I'm so happy. They look so much better. Come around here. So when you come in, they look more like that rather than those. You see the difference is just it's just incredible. I'm so, so happy. And when the ceiling's painted, like I said, it's going to be just perfect. But yeah, that won't take very long. I can do those at some point um, in the future. I know yesterday I was having lots of struggles around these fittings. I've decided to keep them. I think that they work so perfectly with the light fittings and everything else that they're just, they're suitable. And the tap situation, did I mention the tap? The tap's like a proper gold. Um, I think it will be fine. I think it's just one of those things like that I think about now because I'm doing it. And then when it goes in, I'm not gonna think about it ever again. <laughs> um, and if I really did think about it again, um, lots of you suggested that with a brass, you can make it look more antique. I'm gonna research it though. I do fear that because it's quite fiddly, that might be a tricky thing to do, but yeah, I think we're gonna go with these. I think they look very smart and very beautiful and they, they do work so nicely with all the all the fittings, like even these lights, they're just perfect. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with those. Good afternoon. Anthony has just gone home and I thought I'd show you the progress he's made today. This is just like the skeleton, I guess, of the cupboard. Um, but you can see the vibe we're going for. The lighting is so bad because I'm facing the window. <laughs> It does not look that dark in real life. Um, yeah, so we're going to have doors, cupboards at the top, two exposed shelves for storage, 
and then cupboards at the bottom not dissimilar to this to be honest very very similar style we're going for over here um i guess the only difference is we're not going to have drawers they're just going to be big cupboards um and i think i'll probably ask him if he can put some shelves yeah like a shelf halfway down on these two he did mention actually about shelves for us that he was going to put shelves in with the little hook so we can move them around uh, which would be so incredible but it's going to all be clad in pine so obviously these are the ones that are on show and we're going to paint them but i just wanted anything that was exposed to be pine because it matches the kitchen that we already have which is all pine very exciting next i think week i guess he'll come back and do this side and then we'll have the window seat it's always the scary bit where you're like oh my gosh what's it gonna look like because now i'm like think realizing how much obviously it's gonna come it's taking space out of the room but it's a kitchen it's a kitchen and i use it to cook i don't use it to look at walls um and yes the space is important but it's gonna give us so much storage like seeing this right now like the amount of storage that we're gonna have is just so exciting to me like i can store like all of my equipment and we can have so much out on show and i was even thinking that if we find that these cupboards feel very cupboardy and there's lots of cupboards going on we could always sell this dresser and do something different here like have a seat here like a chair or a sofa or something you know that to soften the room that's not the end of the world but the thing that we really really wanted in here was built-in cupboards for storage so that everything was tidy um that was important to us and i love the look of like built-in cupboards with like windows in the middle and like a, a window seat and i feel like it feels very traditional because lots of old houses have beautiful built-in cupboards like this and it will be so different when it's all painted because hopefully the idea is when it's painted it will sort of blend into the wall so we're going to have the kitchen be painted green and then these are going to be white to match the walls so that they'll feel very like in keeping but yeah i'm so excited <gasps> one little job i've definitely got to do this weekend is paint up here because obviously he's going to start building this all in and it will become impossible for me to get in there so i think that i will paint this whole thing here anyway i'm gonna go to my friend's house now and i think i'll end the video here because that's the end of this week for progress in the kitchen and just make sure you're subscribed and you give this video a like leave me a comment to let me know that you're enjoying these videos and this weekend we'll get started on doing some more bits and then yeah we'll show you <laughs> all the updates next week in the renovation i hope you're enjoying this slow progress um i definitely could have done videos where i just showed you the end result or showed you like a compilation of all the stuff we're doing but hopefully this shows you the realistic nature of sometimes how you do things with um, renovations because some people do it all in one go it makes sense maybe if you buy somewhere and you're renovating before you're moving in or you're doing an extension or something but we're just doing it like as we live here which can take longer um but i will definitely do a video at the end proper kitchen makeover video where i'll compile it all for you if you can't be bothered to watch all of the vlogs just view this as a bonus anyway i'm gonna shut up and admire this look at that oh the amount of storage we're gonna have anyway Love you all. See you in my next video. Bye.